Caitlin at a cafe. Nice out in the favor. Too many ways been in the place that's the maze. And it up the signs it was on the table. Driving and vibing a little bit later. Wanna make it bigger, just a little bit of flavor showing up to my spit some fashion dinner. I'm the biggest bitter in the middle. I just don't wanna set the My own in a shop. Just being honest. There's no difference. I'm all just okay. I don't want to just feel well. under these lucid dreams. I'm not just a visionary. It's all making sense to me. Not a basic. I've been really loving these segments where I can come on here and verbalize my thoughts and share tips I learned along the way with you all, so I hope you guys like the voiceovers too. One thing I had to unlearn is that I always thought in order to feel satisfied, the thing I accomplished had to take a long time. But the terms of success are defined by you and you only. I also personally work better under pressure, so an accelerated timeline may be more efficient because it wouldn't allow me to fill my extra time with procrastination. The amount of time does not equal success. Value, effort, and efficiency does. You can work extremely hard at something, but if it is not reaping the desired results, it may be time to step back, reevaluate, and pivot. This is not to say that studying is easy by any means, but I don't want to push out the narrative that you have to study 10 hours a day, lose sleep, and cut off all social connection to do great. You don't have to suffer to reach your goals, and it is not a badge of honor to function on 4 hours of sleep. You are allowed to fail, you are allowed to change your plans, you are allowed to slow down, and you are allowed to put yourself first. And you are allowed to have fun while doing it.
It's 9.16. There's so much study left for me to do. I, I don't even know where to start. I try to sleep around 11 p.m. now, so that doesn't leave a lot of time at night, especially after I work out. I know that was only four questions, and that's not a lot, but it does feel good to finally feel like I'm kind of understanding things. Even though my test is like in two weeks. My laptop died, so I'm back home. I wasn't feeling it also. Sunken cost fallacy is telling me to go to the library and study because I already got ready, but it might be more productive if I just stay home and finish my work before dinner. I'm getting a little too used to two cups of caffeine a day. I had my second cup of coffee and I still feel tired and that's, that's a little scary. <laughs> It's also important to detach yourself from achievement and fall in love with the process of achievement. 
You may be happy for a few seconds when you reach your goal, but the happiness is temporary until you create a new goal to complete. Happiness is a state of being, not a continuous marathon with no destination. So choose to be happy when you make it and choose to be happy now. Regardless of the result, I grew so much as a person during this period, tested my limits and connected with those who cared about me. When you love something, you also fall in love with its process. This experience over the summer was extremely taxing on my body and mental state, but I can confidently say that I don't regret it at all. It might just be the heat, but I feel so sluggish right now, like I could fall asleep again at my desk. So I think I'm gonna skip the gym today and just go on a walk instead because it's a very nice day and the sun is setting. Tingle put your pound, my chugga.